Okay, folks, welcome to the MB Wildman channel. Today's video, just real quick, I want to show you how we build the extension cables for our Seneca snare setups that we're using out on the line this year for coyotes. Uh, it's real quick and easy, but I didn't know if, uh, I guess I made a video before about how to make the Seneca snare and I just kept saying, you know, make an extension cable, make an extension cable, but uh, it's pretty quick and easy to do. I'll give it, I'll just show you uh, how to do it. Listen, if you haven't yet subscribed to the Wildman channel, we sure would appreciate it. Uh, just go ahead and hit that subscribe button and uh, turn on that bell if you want notified when we upload new content. That way you won't miss any videos when we put up new stuff. Uh, we sure would appreciate it. So, uh, extension cable. What I like to do is I like to start out with a little more, um, a little stronger cable. It's different, completely different than my snare cable. Some guys will run their Seneca snares uh, or their, their coyote snares, right? So some, some guys will make them like this. Uh, this is what I do. This is one of mine. Okay. I start out with about 45 inches of snare wire. Some guys use 60. There's some guys I know that use a full, uh, they use like 10 feet. And so, so the, the snare itself is actually just the last loop at the end of their big, long, long. So it's, it's all one unit. The extension cable is actually on the snare. I don't love that. Uh, I find them big, bulky, and sometimes they're real hard to get set the way that I want them. I like my snares to be independent units. And then I add another extension cable onto that. Okay, so what I do is I like to use a uh, 564 cable. Uh, I think that's what this is. Yeah, so I like to use 564 seven by seven aircraft for my extensions. You can use whatever you want, whatever you can find. Uh, this stuff is about eight cents a foot, so it's not too bad. I start out with about six feet for my extension cables. Uh, and I know that that can rack up the cost if you're putting 100 snares out, right? So that's another 70 or 80 bucks just for your extension cables. But you can reuse these almost almost 100% of the time. These are reusable. So even if they get twisted up, you can kind of untwist them and, and move. Like the coyotes don't really destroy these. They just tangle around stuff. Uh, and then you can reuse them, okay? So all I do is take my five, six feet, whatever you're comfortable with, of cable. Uh, add a double furrow, right? So slide, bring it around, pull it through. I like to leave about a one inch, okay, loop on the end and then hammer it shut. Careful not to over hammer these. You just want to shut the, the furrow, okay? You don't want to pinch the wire. You just want to close it, okay? So you can over hammer these and actually damage your wire. You'll know if you've over hammered them. If you look at this very part right here, okay, right here, and, and the wire is flat, then you've hammered it too much, okay? Um, if it's just pinched in there, but the wire still maintains its roundness, then you're, then you're okay, okay? And again, that's just kind of trial and error testing, you know, whatever. So about a one inch loop, and then I pull the other end. I do the exact same thing. Push this through, flip this over, pull this out. I leave about that much. So about an eighth of an inch is what I try to leave um, pushed through. I don't like to sandwich it in the middle. I like to leave it past. Okay, and then hammer that shut. Perfect. Congratulations, you've just made your first extension cable for coyote snares, okay? Pop these babies in whatever it is that you do to, to dull them, okay? Uh, leave them outside hanging for a couple, three weeks or whatever it is you do to dull your snares. If you wanna check out how to do uh, natural or how to do whatever, uh, how to dull and dye your snares and all that, I've got two or three videos on the channel that are great uh, about how to make these, you know, a different color so that they blend in and not silver. Uh, when you go out in the field and you want to attach these, it's pretty simple. You simply run your extension cable through your swivel or through your loop, depending on what you've built on the end of your um, snare. Okay. And then close it down. Close your snare down. Pretty close to all the way, but not quite. And then slide it. Slide all this gear at the end of your snare through the other one inch loop. Right, so you just slide your lock, slide your spring, slide everything through there like that, and then pull it back through, and you've just attached your cable. Right, so now there's no getting out of that now. Right, so you've got your five foot extension cable attached to your snare. Okay, uh, and you're good to go. There's no, there's no animal gonna get get that twisted off. So that's how I attach mine. Right, and then you've still got your snare and you've got your extension cable. I don't do these up 
like I don't, I don't take this out in the field like this because it's a lot of wire and stuff. I basically take my snares out, take my extension cables out, grab one of each, go out in the field, loop them around, do what I need to do, and then uh, I'm good to go. So there you go, quick and easy, how to build an extension cable uh, for your coyote snares, fox snares, bobcat snares, whatever it is you're doing. So anyway, quick and easy, there you go. And I uh, hope this is something you can use out on your line. Hope that something helps you out. Quick and easy demonstration. So anyway, until next time, happy hunting from the MB Wildman channel.